Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Knight of Squires and this is Warhammer Total War 2. As always, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. If not, welcome back. So as you can remember from last session, if you were watching, we had some money troubles, which we have now dealt with, and we had some rebellions, which we have now dealt with, and some trouble with the locals, which again, we have now dealt with. So, what we're going to do, we're going to continue to use this money that we're now gaining positive income. Um, we appear to have lost a trade agreement somewhere, so I'm going to try and fix that. And what we're going to try and do is fix up some of these and improve some of these so that we can make a little bit more money so that we can restock these armies. As you can see, they're a little, uh, they're a little on the small side. So we're going to attempt to deal with that. That's the plan for today. If not, what we might do is merge some of the units from this army into this into uh, Marcus's army just so that he has uh, the best units that he can possibly have. So, with that, uh, we've we've gone and we've got this repairing. This is maxed. I want to get this maxed out as soon as possible, or at least to here, so that it can uh, it can be generating us a little bit more gold, and then get this leveled up so we can increase this. Um, when this repairs, or actually when I manage to level this up, I will be sticking a weaving house here as well. Just We want to get a weaving house in as many provinces as possible. We don't have access to any gold mines, but we're going to start taking some of these from... Um, uh, what are they called? Hexoatl. Hexoatl needs to, to lose some of this land, I think. They're a little, yeah, they are a little, uh, a little powerful here. God, he takes a long time to say a sentence. So we could go for a peace treaty, but what I might do is just start taking these, taking these from him, basically. So we're going to start moving, start with moving Marcus now that he's no longer in, now that we're no longer in debt. We can start to move him with some Increase speed up here. Mobilize. We can get some of these units recovering as fast as we can. And then combined, we're going to rampage through and take as many of these towns as possible, which should also get us a lot more gold. That is the plan. Until then, we're going to end the turn there, and I will see you in a moment. So, we have gained the Taskmaster trait on one of our lords, um, which gives us that. But... Uh, we're going to risk Morsalive's Wrath this time because the plus five leadership is nice, but I cannot afford to be losing this treasury. So we're going to risk Morsalive's Wrath and we're going to start a marching. All right. Start Hunt the march General. over there and he can join him over there. And then uh, that should be the full extent of what he gets up to or what they get up to no. today. Let's uh, scooch around to there. Perfect. And then where can we upgrade? The floating pyramid can be upgraded. So we'll do that because that will allow us to upgrade this. And it might be worth sticking a gatehouse or a city watch. Yeah, a gatehouse into a city watch into this province in an attempt to uh, barricade ourselves in somewhat. So you are supposed to be joining his army so you can run along. Weapon. He has got to, to run an awfully long way, especially as I keep moving away. Legok. Uh, sure. But that's going to be this turn. We're going to we're gonna take, retake the Shrine of Sotek next turn. And then we'll see where we want to go from there. It might be Maku Peaks or... Yeah, I think Maku Peaks... It's the province of it's the provincial capital, and then we'll scooch round and go to Swamp Town, I think. So that's gonna be that turn there. I shall exercise my right to execute you. So it looks like we yeah, yeah, they've got a peace treaty. Uh we're not gonna take that because I actually want to take all of their land, so we're not gonna take that peace treaty. So, first off, as usual, the Sword of Cain has been claimed by somebody over there. Might almost be worth us going and getting it, actually. Might be worth it. That could be a that could be a fun little exercise. 
we're going in that direction anyway. So, Only surrender will save Marcus, I need Austria. you to right. encircle they this town. Fall. Need you to encircle this town. Ready yourself. I mean, you could probably just take it, but I'm going to cut our Wipe losses somewhat. You're going to encircle legs. that. And then the Boris Empire. is going to wander over. Leave no one behind. There you go, Boris. I'm not sure what was happening to my volume controls there. Engage targets. Oh, wow, that's a little loud. Let me just turn that back down. I'm not sure what happened there. I think the, the cat may... Oh, the cat stood on something. My apologies, I have a cat. He was standing on my... Uh, on my volume controls. Engage targets. Hope that didn't deafen anybody. Um, my apologies if so. Reposition. And then we shall auto resolve and lose basically nobody. That was the that was the key point there is to not lose anybody. Gain four hundred gold. Gain some XP. These loot and occupy for another two K. That gets us some more gold, Loyal which is important. Uh, let's destroy the heart for some missile strength. Hostility has increased. Perhaps unsurprisingly. Uh, and he's gained the crown of command, which makes him and all allies within 100 meters unbreakable. Which is super good. And he's got a valet, which gives an additional missile drop chance. So that's nice. Time will tell on this one. Hmm... Hin no, not hinder replenishment. Oh, he's already got the full replenishment. So, let's go with a hint specialist, just because why not. And then, everybody except Marcus has leveled up here. So, Hurtvig can take Stalker, because why not. And Kala can take some more health, I guess. That puts her total at 4,586, which is pretty good, I feel. That's a pretty good um, it's a pretty good level for it to be at. We might eventually have to send her off to go and start assassinating people because it seems a really good thing to be doing with her time. We will upgrade these because that gives us a lot of extra a lot of extra gold, I think. It's actually only 50. This would probably be better. Costs more of my gold, but gives growth slots and things like that. So actually, we're going to do that. Equipment check. And that's going to be everybody there. Marcus Wolfhart. He's recovering. He's Hudson recovering. Zero. All good. We've got a damaged building. Oh, in the, spine of, in the shrine of Sotek. There's not a lot I can do about that. So we're going to skip that one for now. And end the turn. So, the gods are angry, the omens are ill, something you have done has angered the gods. We can anger the gods, or we can tribute, and it costs a thousand gold. I don't really want to be spending the thousand gold, so I'm going to risk... I'm going to risk the angry gods. Public order minus three. I don't think that's the worst. Public order minus three? Yeah, that brings me to a zero. I don't hate that. Shrine of Sotek, you can have that repaired. That's going to cost 500 gold. And then... What can we build here? Nothing. Although that will give us some more income generated. So we'll take that shortly. Huntsman now, General. let's begin... I think we're going to take Maku Peaks. Covering ground. Marcus because I feel parts. like that's the, that's the better course of action here. So he's going to go over there. Marcus is going to go over there. Hudson Boris General. is going to stand there. I think that was potentially the wrong place for Boris to stand, but hey-ho. We're going to put this general in Direct with me. Boris because we've got some extra Drill. we've got some extra slots in his army. There, like that. So he's got 17, he's got 17. That should probably be enough for both of them. And then we're going to take this, and then we will loop through this passage to take Port Riva and the Ziggurat of Dawn, and, pretend, and we might swing down by Swamp Town. This will give us a nice bump in our income again, and that should be that for the end of the turn. 
So they would like a peace treaty, which I'm going to take because I don't really fancy them at war with me down here in the south. So we're going to we're gonna take the peace treaty. I don't need the gold now because we have got positive income. So we'll just take that. So we're back into the new, the new turn. The Winds of Magic uh, have done something. Uh, it doesn't say what. Just as they've done a thing. So, sure. Can you get to here? You can. You can get to there. Oh, there's a slan. There's a slan. So this has walls. So you can build Empire Siege Towers. That can be what you do with your turn. Continue that siege. And then... Marcus Wolfhart. We're going to move over here. Weapons at the ready. Does that... See, this says we're almost certainly going to win this. They've got no real ranged power worth talking about. And we have a lot of guns and tanks and things. So I think actually we're just going to... Uh, I kind of want to do this siege, actually. I think doing this siege might be fun. So I think we're going to... Um, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna fight this with all of our with all of our stuff. So let's fight this. Let's blow everybody to bits. Um, we will see you when the battle is loaded. So it looks like my allies are coming in. My reinforcements are coming in from all the way over here. It, I'm trying to work out whether or not it might be more advisable to just concentrate here and just ram through this section. So I think we're going to stick the the tank. Where can the tank go? Like, apparently cannot go on the road. How weird. Can you please point in the right direction? We'll stick them there. Now oh, you guys have got Vanguard, haven't you? Oh yeah, Vanguard gives you an extra f few feet. Nothing worth talking about, really. So, let's take that. Uh, war wagons with mortars can come right back here. Because you guys have got plenty of range to fire on the walls. So have you guys. Like so. And then the regular more regular war wagons can come over here. I'm not a huge fan of these war wagons. These might get um, sold off shortly. And then that's everything from over there. So let's start the battle. Pause that. And then you up there. You up there. You up there, you up there. Please break that gate. Please break that gate. Please break that gate. Mm. Shoot those guys. Shoot those guys as well. Actually, you shoot those guys. Yeah, let's shoot them. Let's have one mortar attack that gate and the steam tank attack the gate. And that should be perfectly fine at that point. So. Let's go. The defenses must fall, my lord. Storm the city. Press your attack. Let's just watch these cannonballs come crashing into all these lizards. Boom. Blow up the lizards. Blow up the lizards. All right, we've got a load more dudes turning up here, so let's just take a pause for a moment. We've got an awful lot of guys showing up. 
So, you guys are all melee. Get up here. Huntsman, Adachi units, and that guy, and that guy. Shoot these guys. Where are you going? You're the mortar that's attacking the walls. You're bombing those guys behind it. You three, where are you going? You're all going to climb these walls, aren't you? Get up here. I think that's everybody. Go over there. Eh, come over here. You might be vaguely useful. I think that's everybody. Where are you going? You're going up there. Okay, let's see how this progresses for a little while. Yes, yes, yes. These guys are mounting the walls. We're there. This Empire General. Look at this guy go. Oh no, he's my yeah, he's my Empire Captain. He's coming up here. He's gonna make this all sorts of fun. Boris can start firing down. Let's just make the helm of command, make everybody unbreakable. All these units are now unbreakable as they attempt to take the walls. These guys are getting massacred. Uh, let's get all of the war wagons and mortars and steam tanks to blow open that gate. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it looks like the gate is already open. Um, we've captured a couple of these towers. They're definitely not taking these gates off us, though. Uh, you guys again. God, look at all of these ranged weapons. Missile infantry. Uh, at uh. Your and gunners. Shoot them. Yeah, we're just gonna blow holes in everything that's up here, honestly. I don't really see this going huge, going any way other than how I expect it to. Uh, they've got shields, so they'll take some missile block chance, but let's just uh, deal with that. Yeah, we're just gonna keep, just gonna keep shooting everything. This seems like the sensible way to deal with this. Uh, you've got guns. The city is within sight, my lord. Press forward. Ready for war. That's group two. All melee infantry. You can be group one. Group two, let's add these huntsmen. This is kind of going exactly how you would imagine it would. Um, 
There's a lot of there's a lot of guys dying horrible deaths here. They can all become unbreakable. Let's take that. I don't even know where this guy is, honestly. Where is that priest? That's my witch hunter. Where's my where's my where's my warrior priest? No real idea. My lord is under attack. I've got a few of those floating around. Just start. Oh, they've rampaged and are charging their own guys. No? I don't know how rampage works. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely thought rampage just. Let's just gun that down. And then all the artillery. Uh, where's that steam tank gone? Get in here. Where is my steam tank? I have no idea where that steam tank is. What? It... There's, my, there's my warrior priest over there doing nothing. Awesome. Let's just gun these guys down in cold blood. Yeah. <laughs> Army lost his penalty. We broke everything. We took the city. It wasn't a huge deal. Uh, decisive victory. So, we will have a quick look at this. Yeah, they lost 500. We lost 2. Um... None of their skinks killed anybody because they just got shot off the walls almost immediately. He's got the Sigmar Sons, which I think have the Griffin Banner. I think. I'm not sure. I think I gave them the Griffin Banner. Um, and 96 kills on the Stolen's Revenge with basically no casualties of their own. The War Wagon killed one guy, but these guys did quite well. Mortars did all right. They were just blowing up walls, I think, was the, the issue for them. I need to deal with that a little better. Might be worth me picking up a cannon or two next time. Might be worth a cannon or two. Okay, we will pause it here and wait for the, the full game to load back up. And we will capture the city. So, we have a decisive victory. We gain 400 gold in loot. And a new banner, the Lichbone Pendant. Which gives a magic resistance of 30%, which is really nice. Uh, especially given that Mazda Mundi is floating around here somewhere. I told you there'd be plunder. We're going to loot and occupy this. The authority. Gives us this city now. And hostility has increased again. We'll take it. Uh, fencer's Blades. What does so, the Emperor bid? Have a quick level up. Uh, you don't need one. Least, uh, Leopold. You can. Mm. Ah, soul, soul fire. Yes. Boris does need one. Who's Boris Stein? Oh, the Empire Captain. You can increase that. Oops. Let's just load that back in a second. Marcus, you've got a point. You can have Executioner now, which is a really nice magic missile. So you can have that. Not that I really remember to use his abilities particularly. I need to get better at doing that. Um, plus, three, plus three hit points. Plus three percent. And that's everybody. Okay, so nobody needs to level up now. Maku Peaks have some damaged buildings. Let's repair those. So give us some more stone cutters, which will give us some more income generated, which is nice. We can now repair... We can now build this in the Shrine of Sotek. Uh, Cinnabar Mining Pit, which will give us some more money. We're going to we're gonna do what we can to, to get some of this money flowing into the, the places that we're having to besiege down. Nothing here worth buying yet. Not for the 1400. Is that Mazda Mundi? No, that's Hook. Whatever he said. So I think we're going to come this way. Take Hexoatl. 
and then we'll just rampage down this flank and take all these and wipe them out. Well done, and that will be a huge boon for the Hunts Marshal. And we will have lots of money. So, Mission we're going to end the turn there, and we'll see where we're at at the start of the next turn. Save your beloved so we have the Foolish Vainglory event again. Um, recruiting surplus or war fervor. See, this time I'm going to take the war fervor because plus five leadership. I'm not going to be recruiting a whole lot in the next five turns, but this is nice. Uh, we've gained a bailiff. Always handy to have. Now I'm relatively certain no Mazda Mundi is floating around here somewhere. So I'm a little concerned and I'm going to take it a little easier as I go marching along. We'll take the destroy the heart trait there. And I think Marcus has a point as well. Somebody does. Oh no, it's Kalara. Because she needed more stuff. Let's give her the ward of magic resistance. She's going to be so hard to kill. <laughs> Bless her. I love it. Bow down to you can upgrade. Because that will give us an additional slot with which we can build another uh, cloth here. Marcus Wolfhart. Let's stay within our boundaries for a moment and have a look at what's going on over there. See, I don't see Mazda Mundi, and it makes me a little concerned. Huntsman General. I would like to be able to see where he is, but I can't. And I know his land potentially stretches off in that direction, so he might be up here dealing with whoever has the Sword of Cain. But, for the moment at least, he's over there, and I don't have to worry about him too much. We'll loop round, we'll take his capital, we'll take Port Reaver, Ziggurat of Dawn, Swamp Town. We'll take these three, well these two, and that will, then we can take Hexawattle, Ziggurat of Dawn. I think he probably goes up as far as the Fallen Gates. And we'll take Skeggy while we're there because we're at war with him and he's there and in my way. So we'll deal with him as well. We'll pause it there. So we've finished uh, researching colonial factors, which gives income from trade, which thankfully gives us nothing currently because we don't have any trade partners. We should probably get a trade partner somewhere. Who will trade with us? Loyal servant. Safari, will the you trade with me? Will, hear your plea. will you trade with me? How wise. Perfect. Yetienne? Yetienne? Tyrion, will you trade with if me? If what you seek is for the greater good, my sword is yours. Understood. They will. See, this is this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Sensible people Take who will dead. trade with me. Tremble, Empire man. Your destiny is either slavery or death. Will you trade with it me? You will not. Uh, never mind. I don't care. That's give us a nice income boost. So at that point. Unflinching. I'm going to stick another couple of units in here. Actually, can we get a Regiment of Renown? Yes, we can. Ugh, oh, Zintler's Reichsguard. Get in my army. And the White Wolf Huntsman, get in the army. Get in. Get in. That gives us another nice big cavalry unit. Along with some more Huntsmen. <laughs> more Huntsmen. Always nice. Huntsman General. And you can have another couple, you can have, uh, you need to widen your melee line, I think. So you can have that. And that takes down my predicted income. What have we got? One more space. One more space. Uh, what's our melee line looking like? A little short. You can have them as well. There we go. So... We've got two 20 stack armies now. That should, quite frankly, deal with uh, deal with most things. And our lords have not moved. We're going to scooch to here. So Mazda Mundi showed up. He's got a relatively sizable force. Um, I don't know what you're riding. Or are you just a skink? You're just a skink. Yep, you're just a skink. You don't even have anything you're riding on. Cool. We're going to move up to there. 
So the plan is to sort of bait him to come and attack me, but I don't know if it's going to actually work. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion it isn't. But we'll see. Clergy of Sigma or Warhorse Breeding. Um, let's take the leadership and armor for the cavalry, given that we now have a couple of decent cavalry units, and I'd like to keep them alive. Uh, some of these would also be good, but we'll see. Let's see what Mazda Mundi does in this turn. This might be the end of the turn. Um, if not, we'll see where we're at for next session. So we're going to pause that there, end the turn, and I'll see you in a moment.